What is up, YouTube? Comic Brains here with a uh, Comic Brain haul for everyone. Uh, hope everyone's having an awesome weekend. Mine just got the best, uh, probably the best of the year so far. I'm super excited. I got a holy grail in the mail, and I can't wait to share that book with you guys. So stay tuned for this video. I do got a haul, so bear with me for some of the books. I think I picked up some pretty sweet books, so... Most definitely let me know what you guys think. So I went uh, a little different. Um, trying to get some other books that I haven't really picked up. So uh, yeah, we can just jump right into it. Uh, enough said. So um, most definitely super excited. I love Ashley Wood. Um, so I'm trying to finish my run for uh, Metal Gear Solid. Really, really gorgeous cover. I absolutely, Ashley Wood is one of my, I just love his, his style. It is unique and it's different and it's just awesome. And his, his painting is just phenomenal. It's super sloppy and it's just awesome. And it just, he just makes his stuff just pop. And it's so sweet. So Metal Gear Solid number one, Sons of Liberty. Pretty stoked to get that. Um, Metal Gear Solid number one. This is actually from the uh, first game. Uh, another absolutely gorgeous cover. This is a uh, cover of Earl uh, Merle. And this is actually um, this is uh, a variant too. So this was uh, um, I believe cover B to issue yeah issue number one. I think it was cover B or cover C. I'm not sure. So but anyway, great uh, just awesome cover. Uh, Metal Gear Solid number eight, um, awesome cover of Sniper Wolf, beautiful cover of that, and then uh, issue number six with um, Solid Snake and Deep Throat on the cover. So, really awesome to have those. This actually helped me finish my uh, my Metal Gear Solid run for the series. Now I'm just trying to work on uh, the uh, the Sons of Liberty series right now. So. If any of you guys have uh, any of those or any of these uh, Metal Gear Solid books, I'll most definitely uh, be interested in um, doing some trades with you guys. So, yeah, just let me know if you guys got them. Um, beautiful covers for those. Uh, I went ahead and just picked up uh, Bloodshot number six for a uh, cameo of Ninjax and then uh, um, Bloodshot number seven. So, these are actually my second. Uh, my second set so if anyone's interested in those just let me know I'm do a trade whatever but yeah so pretty cool to have those you never know with these valiant books or you know what I there's rumors that they might do a TV show valiant might start doing TV shows so I think that would be pretty cool something different out in the comic book universe um, picked up an awesome cover of non-player number one. This there was only two uh, two issues for this book. Number one and number two. If you guys haven't read this series by Nate Simpson, awesome, awesome book. Uh, super uh, creative. Has to do with like a um, kind of like a post-apocalyptic, like futuristic era, but uh, kind of just escape reality. You can jump into a uh, um, like a video game world so super fun series it's super awesome most definitely check it out and this is the first printing too so and the crazy thing with this book too a lot of the other um the first printing goes for quite a bit between i've seen them go from 15 to 30 bucks but you gotta look out for like the i believe this ran all the way to fifth printing they did a fifth print for this book so most definitely keep an eye out and it'll tell you right here too if it if it is or not so great book to have um i picked up uh j scott campbell number one to red sonia um super really gorgeous cover i'm really liking um the covers and the cool thing is is that it's a just a regular j scott campbell cover i'm, I'm pretty happy with it's just being cover price you know and I think some of his books are just outrageously stupid expensive for what they are. So I'm pretty I'm pretty excited to be able to um, to get this for a cover price. So I'm pretty happy. Um, no, this is a beautiful cover 
of uh, Lola XOXO by Saya Um. Another really underestimated artist, another great um, traditional artist with uh, the painting. And I just love paint so much. Uh, Alex Ross is another one, but his is a lot more cleaner. But I really like sloppy effect too, especially it's just a original and creative, you know, there's so many different styles. And this book is just absolutely gorgeous. And the crazy thing, this book is only about between five to ten bucks. So really underestimated cover, really gorgeous. I'm really happy to get that book. Um, let's see, I picked up a gorgeous uh, Catwoman, Adam Hughes, really awesome, Blackest, Blackest Night, uh, issue number 83, really nice cover. And then <laughs> this next book absolutely is just off the wall crazy. I, I can't believe um, this book was even, uh, I don't even know how they got away with this, this book. It's done by Humor Comics. And it is a Big Bird vs. Arnold Schwarzenheimer. And this book is so crazy. It is most definitely not for the faint of children. Um, and it is just it is just so crazy. I've never seen a book so insane. Um, if anybody has ever read this book, most definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of it. And if you haven't, um, let me know if you're interested because I, I would most, I would love to have this book, like just be passed around and have everyone read. It's just so crazy. I absolutely love that book. And so it's just so great. Um, so the last, uh, let's see, the last six books I have are all Michael Turner's and I'm super, super excited to, I was able to upgrade a couple of, um, couple books and to get two, books off my um my comic book list but this this list actually i don't show anybody it's uh it's my secret list so but got a gorgeous sketch cover um from my boy bruce zayas uh we did a trade so super excited for that um all-star batman number one mm, just gorgeous cover and this book is mint this book is super nice so I most definitely would love to uh, send that off to get graded. Um, upgraded to a really, really nice high six, uh, uh, nine eight, um, Supergirl number one sketch. I have a couple nine point twos, I would say nine fours, but I really wanted to get a, a really nice high grade, so I, I went, I put the extra bucks in trying to get a super nice one. So pretty stoked to have that. Um, Another gorgeous cover. Uh, picked up uh, another really high grade. This is a Daredevil number 100 variant. Really awesome cover. Super stoked. And I'm just, uh, I don't know, I'm just way happy with uh, this with this upgrade. And the cool thing with Turner too, he was he put a lot of depth not only into his characters, but into backgrounds as well so him and um him and peter did a great job for when it came to collaborating um, um doing covers together so kudos to both those guys for th that cover um another collaboration uh awesome black panther number 18 this is the wedding of um storm and black panther so really awesome Really gorgeous cover, really uh, super nice, high grade. So, like I said, that was an upgrade. So I'm really, really happy to be able to display that on my wall for the Turner room I'm working on. So, super, super stoked to have that. And these next two books, I oh mean, I'm just super stoked. Um, I sold a couple books to get these, and I'm just overwhelmed with one of the books, and it's my holy grail. We'll show that book right after I show this one, but got uh, my Miss Marvel number one sketch variant. So really, really happy to have this book in my collection, and it's just man, it's just awesome. Um, really happy to have this. It most definitely was one of my hunters that I wanted to get. I've seen it on eBay a couple times, but I really wanted to try to get a uh, you know. Uh, like a really nice high grade that I can at least get like a nine six nine eight 
and I can display it with uh, the color that I have upstairs. So really, really happy to have that book. And my holy grail, everybody, I just want to say big thanks to everybody who's been supporting my channel, all my new subscribers and everything like that. It's been, it's just been a lot of fun and I, I just love doing uh, this thing. Most definitely it's been a lot of fun and I, you know, I'm just going to keep doing it until I get burnt out, but I don't see me doing that anytime soon. So, but for here it is, everybody. This is my holy grail. This was one of my biggest holy grails that I've been trying to hunt down for a long time. And I am super thrilled to have this bad boy in my collection. And there it is, everybody. Michael Turner's Uncanny X-Men 500 Sketch. Woo! I am so happy to have this book in my collection. This is one of those books that you hardly see uh, pop up um, anywhere, really. It was a 1 in 250 poll, so especially in 2008, man, that, that was a, there was a lot of stores um, that couldn't, you know, that couldn't get 250 copies of just the regular, X, you know, X-Men 500 cover, so... Um, nobody really knows how many of these books are out there probably and, and I guess the print run was only 400 so but um, even with a print run you know they might have printed 400 but there was only a few selected that went out or whoever got them so I'm really happy to have this book in my collection and it is I'm just thrilled and that this book is sharp it's nice and flat and it's crisp um, I immediately put it in a top loader. I got some mylars in there. Um, we got the mylar on there, so it's most definitely being sent off to be put in a slab. So, man, I am uh, so thrilled to present that book with you guys. So that uh, that comes off my uh, comic brain secret comic book list, uh, my top ten and uh, number one. There it is, my X Men five hundred sketch turner. And the number three was Miss Marvel Sketch Turner. So, really happy to get that, uh, to have this bad boy in my collection. So, once again, everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, most definitely leave me a comment down below, like this video. And, uh, yeah. So, until next time, uh, keep it nerdy and comic brain daddy here. Later, guys.